Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we are diving into the exciting world of Kubuntu 23.10, Mantec Minotaur, and its best new features. Known for its customization options and elegance, Kubuntu 23.10 is here to elevate your Linux experience. Let's jump right into the details. First up, we have the backbone of any Linux distribution, the kernel. Kubuntu 23.10 introduces the brand new kernel 6.5, loaded with improvements for extended hardware support and optimized code for enhanced system performance. With Wi-Fi 7 support, MIDI 2.0 compatibility, and a host of other features, this kernel ensures your components run seamlessly. Now, let's talk about the heart of Kubuntu, the desktop environment. Kubuntu 23.10 comes with the latest point release of KDE Plasma Desktop 5.27.8, ensuring a refined and feature-rich experience. While we're eagerly awaiting Plasma 6, rest assured that Plasma 5 will be supported until 2024. Alongside Plasma, you'll find KDE Framework 5.110 and Qt 5.15, enhancing your desktop experience. If you're curious about the changes from the previous release, there's a plethora of minor tweaks and thousands of bug fixes. Let's take a look at a few notable ones, including key KDE applications. These updates ensure a smoother and more efficient KDE Plasma experience. In Kubuntu 23.10, we've got you covered with the latest versions of key non-KDE apps like Thunderbird and Firefox. Thunderbird 115, Supernova, brings a OE refresh, while Firefox 110 Snap version comes pre-installed. Now, for those of you interested in the technical side, the underlying Ubuntu 23.10 features experimental ZFS installation options. However, please note that KDE Plasma uses a separate installer, and these options are not available in the Kubuntu release. With all these exciting updates, Kubuntu 23.10, Mantec Minotaur, ensures you have the latest tools and KDE applications at your fingertips, providing the best and most stable Plasma experience. If you are on an LTS version, remember you can opt out from upgrading until 2024. You can find the beta version for download in the description below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more awesome Linux content. Thanks for watching, and happy computing!